Moving on right now, we have some very blunt questions for our next guest. When the former army officer James Blunt released Back to Bedlam in 2004, it barely made a blip on the music scene until the third single, You're Beautiful, took the world by storm. You're beautiful. What followed was five Grammy nods, two more albums, four more number one singles and three world tours. Not to mention the best celebrity Twitter account. Period. James has just released a new single, a new album, and is headed our way next year. So jump online and tweet the bloke that you're excited. You may just get a response. Please welcome James Blunt. Um, hello, hello. How are you doing? Very, very good. What are you doing in cold old London? We thought you lived in Ibiza. We were jealous about that. I know, um, but I think it is a little bit backward and doesn't have the ability to talk to you, so I've dragged myself <laughs> into very chilly, chilly London to say hi. Well, the new album is out. It's, it's, it's very positive. It's very uplifting. Life seems to be treating you very well. Isn't that a disaster for songwriting? Don't you need a breakup? <laughs> Don't you need some fights to get the mind working? You're absolutely... You are absolutely right. I normally do uh, have relationships and then, or, you know, uh, break up on purpose, split up with a girlfriend on purpose purely to make some cash each <laughs> out of the whole experience. And you actually recorded that album in LA uh, with your good friend Carrie Fisher over there. Do you go home and play her what you've done in the studio to get her feedback? Yeah, yeah, I did very much. I mean, what I did for this album is I went back um, to Los Angeles to find the producer who produced my first album, Back to Bedlam, ten years ago. Um, and he and I recorded it again, just the two of us, in that kind of same indie way that we did the first time. But I did live with Carrie Fisher, Princess Leia of Star Wars. <laughs> and I would come at home at about 1.30 in the morning, there she is scribbling away, and I'd play her songs. I'd tell them they're all about her, um, and she'd critique them. She's my first critique, and she'd send me out the next day to go and fix them up. Now, is there any chance she's going to be in the new Star Wars? Have you got a scoop for us? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. As far as I know, she's going to be in. Um, she's going to be in the new Star Wars. Um, I mean, actually, what she did for me when I stayed there, she put a cardboard cutout of herself in the outfit with, you know, the hair in the buns outside my room to protect me at night. And, and that's probably why I'm here safe and sound today. <laughs> <laughs> now, mate, I love your music, but I also love your sense of humour. And I love the way you deal with haters on Twitter. We've got a few examples here. A woman called Samantha wrote, Does anyone else hate James Blunt's voice? I can't stand it. And you came back to her with I nev never liked the sound of my own voice till it made me rich. <laughs> <laughs> you must enjoy those moments, do you? Yeah, you know, I'm not very good on social media. I've never really wanted to tell people what I'm having for breakfast. And if they want to know what I'm having for breakfast, I think they're weird. But, um, <laughs> but a kind of self-abuse self -abuse on Twitter is my forte. I suppose it must be because I was in the army and went to boarding school. And so I've, I've found my niche on it now. Your new single, Heart to Heart, off the new album, Moon Landing, is available on iTunes now. You're heading to Australia soon. All the way details are on our website. It's been great to chat. Thanks for your time. Yeah, you too. I'm really looking forward to coming on tour um, there in 2014. I hope I, go, I will see you guys there. Take care.